and welcome to my channel about paper crafting. Today is the last layout in October for Collection Obsession and I'm using the Tapestry of Time collection from Uniquely Creative and this is a great collection if you have vintage, a lot of vintage photos to do. I have a lot of vintage photos, I have a lot of military photos. The last layout I did was of my grandfather and this one is of my dad in his really really early Navy days. Um, a dingy recruit, HMAS Cerberus 1950. I'm going to write that down because that is going to go on my journaling. And uh, pen. On the last layout I did of my grandfather, I turned that over and it had on the back aged 28 years. So that is going to go on or in my journaling as well. So I knew this was. Um, he was quite young in this one. So he was, um, hang on, 1950. Oops, my maths is no good. Let me just work that out. Hang on a minute. Um, he was. 17 years old in this photo. Wow, I knew he joined really young. So there he was, 17. Wow. <laughs> All right, so this is the photo I'm going to do. I have some embellishments already picked out and I just put them in clusters of things that went together. So I have the Australia Service Medal because I know he actually does have that medal. Um, no, he doesn't have that medal. It's another medal he's got because they're the wrong dates. There is father's and stepfather's dates. Um, the poppies, a lock because that looked sort of old fashioned. Uh, more poppies and a nice tag. So that's one cluster I have. Then I've got another cluster, another tag. Some more poppies. Veterans, remember that's my title. Um, is like remember veterans another medal, and then the typewriter from the cut apart sheet because he was a signalman in the Navy. So typewriter, he um, he was so fast and so quick at the typewriter. I remember uh, going through school, he would um, have to type up reports because he was a, um, oh, what did he get to? Warrant officer in the Naval Police in the end. Um, once he came off the ships, he went into the Naval Police at Garden Island in Sydney. And he got to the rank of warrant officer. So he had to do lots of typing, lots of reports, and he'd bring some home to type. Or he'd just type up uh, different things. And that was this was a time when there was no emails. It was everything. If you had to write a letter, if you wanted to communicate with someone, you had to write a letter. So he would um, always be typing up stuff. And I remember the sound of the typewriter. And I actually don't know where the typewriter's gone. I used to have it. Um, and I know I packed it when I moved from Sydney to Queensland, but I have a feeling I left it at mum and dad's when we moved out before my brother moved in for a period of time. And I think he must have just packed it up and they have it or they've given it away or whatever. Um, but I do miss that typewriter because I I wanted to use it. My daughter wanted to use it. And you can't, you know, you can't get old typewriters anymore. It didn't look like this. Um, it was an olive, Olivetti, I think it was, you know, I remember it growing up. So it's 1970s probably, uh, typewriter. Um, yeah, so shame I don't have it anymore. But anyway, this is the layout. Uh, these are the embellishments, sorry. And I've got some extra tags as well in case I feel like adding more tags. Now I've got layers here of paper in the background because I think I want to do, because I've only got the one smallish photo, I wanted to put several mats under it. So that's the idea. We will see what happens. So I'm going to fast forward you now. I'm going to speed you up, actually, I should say. I can't talk today. I'm doing this in a hurry. Can you tell? It's like I'm talking really fast and I just need to get this done because my husband's in hospital having um, day surgery and I don't want to be doing this when I get the phone call to go get him. So that's why I'm doing it fast. Sorry about that, but I'm going to speed you up now and then you can watch me put the layout together and um, watch as I work through it and then I'll be back with a chat at the end.
there's the finished layout. Layout four for the Collection Obsession series. Number four for October. Um, always at the end of my videos, you'll notice that I always have to look for what embellishments I want to use, like my finishing touches, my um, enamel dots or rhinestones, whatever. I never think to get them out first. These were laying on my desk because I just used them for the previous layout. So I thought, oh, well, they're going to work on this one as well. So there you go. Uh, you also you also would have seen that once I placed things in place, I didn't take it all off. I just held things in place and glued underneath. I do that a lot if I'm really happy with the layout and the design and I know there's no way that I'm going to get everything back in the same place. So I cheat and I start with the bigger pieces first and then try and hold things in place or if I take them off, I just take one at a time to glue and then um, don't take everything off and then put back on because then I forget where it all goes. So um, I do that quite often in my layouts. I put the title on foam dots and also this one on foam dots and did you notice something's upside down? I just realized that my lock is on upside down. But anyway, I'm not, I can't take it off now. It's glued there. No one's probably going to even notice it. They'll go, oh, look, it's a lock. And then maybe if they dwell on it for a while, they'll go, oh, it's upside down. But a lot of people just look at the photos and they go, oh, that's a nice page. And they just actually look at the photos and read the journaling and don't pay too much attention to what's around it. So I, I hope that is the same with this one. But 10 to 1, someone's going to point out that my lock is upside down. Anyway, that wraps up my collection obsession for October. If you've liked this video, give me the thumbs up. If you are not a subscriber, please subscribe and hit that notify bell so you know when my next video comes out. And I'll be back soon with November's collection obsession. Thank you for watching and have a scrap happy day. Bye bye.